Welcome to Photoshop in 5. My name is Daniel White, also known as Dansky, and in this video, we're going to cover three essential Photoshop hacks. And these are things that I use a lot, that save me a lot of time, and they make my life as a designer that little bit easier. So, with that said, let's open up Photoshop and look at super handy hack number one the remove tool. So you can see I have an image of someone balancing on some rocks and what if I want to remove this person quickly and easily? Well what I'm going to do is start by selecting the remove tool and then using the left and right square brackets on the keyboard I'm going to adjust the brush size and then very loosely just brush over the subject. And as you can see everywhere I'm brushing is highlighted in pink and don't worry about this being too perfect. Let go and voila, the subject has been removed. And this bird up here is also kind of bugging me, so let's get rid of that as well. And of course, we will need to do the same on the reflection in the water because that just doesn't make sense anymore. And just like that, the subject, the reflection, and the bird are all gone. However, there is a slight discrepancy here where we've got some repetition. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to Window, turn on my contextual taskbar. Uh, I think it's actually on my other window, so let's just bring that on screen, there we go. And now with the lasso tool, I'm just going to very quickly make a selection around that repeated area. Choose generative fill. I could enter something like rocks or ocean, but I'm going to trust it and just click generate and we'll see what it comes up with. And there we go. Boom. Look at that. It's filled in the ocean, filled in the rock, and it's given me a few variations as well. So I'm just going to do this one more time for this part of the sunset here. Let's make that selection. Generative fill leave it blank, click generate, let Photoshop do its thing, and then just choose the variation that you like the most, which for me is gonna be this one. Next up is a quick and easy fix for brightening up photos. And this might seem ridiculously easy, but it's still something that I use to this day. So you can see I have some broccoli, it's a bit dark, a bit underexposed, but we can fix that with an adjustment layer. And we have exposure curves and levels here. These are all great, but I'm gonna use brightness and contrast because like me, it's quite simple, but it also has just two sliders. So let's start to increase the brightness and already you can see the difference. Let's do a before and after. Amazing. And we could crank this up even more. We don't wanna to go too high because we will overexpose the image, but let's go for about 50, 55, something like that. And if you do want to introduce a bit more contrast, well, there's a slider for that too. Just bump that up a little bit. And if we do another before and after, you can see what a massive difference this makes. And lastly, a technique that is perfect for product photography. So here you can see I have a red shoe and a red background, but what if I want to cut out the shoe, keep the shadow and put it all on a background of my choice? Well, there's a trick to doing this. First of all, grab any selection tool and then from the drop down, choose cloud so we get a more detailed selection. Choose select subject to make that selection. And then from the bottom of the layers panel, add a layer mask and then duplicate this layer with command or control J. Now it's time to add an adjustment layer and let's choose solid color and we can then pick any color we like. So let's go for like a yellowy color, something nice and bright, and then click OK. And we need to send that to the bottom of the layer stack. And I'm gonna hide the top layer and then rename the one underneath to shadow, just so I don't get mixed up. Right, with the shadow layer selected, press Command or Control U to bring up the hue saturation dialog box, and then drag the saturation slider to the left to remove all the color. Now for this layer, we want to actually see the shadow. So let's right click on that layer mask and delete it. And then press Command or Control L to bring up the levels dialog box. And we now want to adjust the levels so we retain the shadow, but don't kind of lose any detail, but also increase the brightness as much as possible. So nice dark shadow, lots of detail with a nice light background. And once you've got something like this, change the blending mode from normal to multiply, and it will blend that over the background color underneath. Now we can just grab the eraser tool and then just quickly remove everything on the shoe except for the shadow. That's all we need on the layer is just the shadow. And this is my favorite bit. Now let's go and turn back on that very top layer, which is the main shoe. So we have the product, we've retained the shadow from the original photo and we have our own background color. And for a bit more realism, we can go and add something like a gradient so we don't just have a flat background color. So let's go and add two different colors. We'll go for like a a nice orange, something like this. And on the other end, let's go and add like a lighter orangey yellowy color. Yeah, something like that looks good. And now we've created the gradient layer, we can actually use the gradient tool to click and drag in any direction and control how this graduation sits on the canvas. 
And there we go, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thanks again to Photoshop for having me here and remember to check out the Photoshop channel for more tricks and tips. But that's it from me. Take care and I'll see you soon.